I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You know, just waiting to drop my album. Well, hold on. I should ask, how is your like thigh area doing? Because I saw you got tatted up late last night. Yeah, late last night. Honestly, I had the worst time sleeping, man. I, I was like almost crying myself to sleep. It hurts so bad. So is that one of the most painful places to get a tattoo? Is that like your upper thigh, like hip area? Well, so like for one, this is my very first tattoo. So I don't remember how the pain felt, but I know this one was way worse. It was like over my tummy tuck scar. And like, I have like, I feel like I have nerve damage there. So it was hitting some points that was just really painful. And then on my thigh, it went up my back just a tad bit and I could feel it pulling in my back. So that's, it hurts. Yeah. Okay. So the tummy tuck scar, it, don't, scar, it only goes obviously above the tummy. It doesn't do the whole wrap around, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. My God, you are a trooper. Because I heard a tummy tuck hurts like for months and months, like even to go to the bathroom, it hurts. And then I don't have a tattoo. And <laughs> yeah, so a tummy tuck hurts for about a good um, week. And then after that, you have to be careful and it, it starts to heal up. But yeah, I mean, I think for about a week, not for a whole month. Okay. Remember, yeah. My neighbor got it done and she said it was the worst pain. She has three kids and she was so happy after it was done, but she said that it was one of the worst pains she ever experienced. Yeah, honestly, I was kind of like the same pain, you know, so I was used to it already, but. Did they staple you or was it just stitches? It was like, um, dissolved stitches. Okay, girl. Yeah, but I was happy too, shoot, I don't even know. I ask you, is this it? Because usually when people do it, they're like, I'm not doing any more. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to have a girl for some reason. So I think I'm just give it up. Well, you never know. But then know. you might end up with five boys. So. It, no, I'm not doing that. I am not. <laughs> boys are a lot of work. They're a lot of work. Yes. I mean, no, they, I've, 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 I think that girls are more work. But I just want, I always want to, you know, dress my little girl up and teach her how to be. I feel like it yeah. would also make me a little tougher, too, because I would have to be tougher. But like with my boys, I don't know. They're just my babies. So. Or you could just wait till you're a grandma and you can spoil that little girl. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. They'll be spoiled rotten. But that's, that's a long time coming, long time coming. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this music. Is that what you're doing during your quarantine days? Um, well, I'm about finished now. I got me a whole album. Um, I didn't went through plenty of, I don't know, I don't know what to say, but um, I've, I've taken it yeah the process has been on and off like I've made songs took taken them off the album added them back on added new songs had features that didn't work out and like a lot of different things to just just to get to this point now where I'm finally happy with my album um so I'm not really recording album, right it's the first one my debut yes wow yes. the process behind it is crazy I didn't know it was going to be this tough it took a while. It took a while. So what took you so long to put out an album? Are you so, are you like indecisive or was it just things in the background that was going on? Cause I know you but, had a baby and life happened. Well, I'm a very indecisive person and it was a lot going on in the background. Like, especially like, you know, uh, with my label, um, I had someone new come in to take over and guide me. Nobody was really guiding me before, like hand in hand. And now like, I've gotten the connects that I need, you know, cause that like, I'm new to this, so I don't know who to reach out to. And like, I had someone to help me with everything that I needed for this album, whether it was producers or features and just like reaching out um, to people because, you know, I didn't know how to do it myself, but we here now and it's, it's coming out. I feel like you were kind of just thrown into it. How do you guide yourself in the music industry? I know you have like people that can help you, but like just you as a person, how can you feel out like, okay, this is a good decision for me or this person, this is not a good look. How do you do that? Cause I was reading your tweets and you were talking about the shadiness of the industry and I feel you yeah. on that, girl. especially being a woman. Yeah, lately I have been finding out that the industry, I mean, people move like sharks. I mean, but um, I guess that's just, that's life in general. It's not like, it's, it's not just the industry. It's just life. Um, I need to stop venting on Twitter. <laughs> But, um, 
like a lot of times i'm not gonna lie like um it's hard for me to see uh the like who's good and who's bad because like everyone comes off as friendly first you know but um i never like i always give people the benefit of a doubt until they start moving funny but really that's not my, that's not my strongest point <laughs> so you know i'm always open and vulnerable to people and easy to you know believe stuff and be friends and give the benefit of the doubt but um my manager really <laughs> my manager is the one that does all of that like over right hand would you say too yeah it's something like that something but like on a much higher level i feel like this industry at least the radio i do radio and tv and i feel like these are the kids that were bullied back in the day and so they take all that anger and they take it out on the new people and they try and hold them down that's my opinion so i feel mm. like it's for people in the past who were mistreated and they just take it out on their newfound power that's just me yeah. honestly like i'm not saying that people like are are mean or anything or like just like shady people but it's just like i don't know i guess the way that people um i don't i don't like fakeness you get what i'm saying so I feel you um, yeah but you know i ain't gonna i ain't gonna speak too much on that i got an album coming out i got a single coming out really soon yeah. okay I, so i listened to your single on my on my walk this morning uh, yeah. butterflies part two with wale yeah so that that's not the lead single, okay? Okay. Butterfly, Butterflies Part Two was very spontaneous. It happened when I was in LA. I was supposed to be recording another song, but I, I stopped doing that, and I just was like, "Hey, y'all, let's make a, um, let's make a sample to Butterflies One," and then I started writing to it, and I was like, "I love it. I want to put it out on SoundCloud." I didn't care about putting it on the DSPs, like anything else. I just wanted to put it out because I feel like my supporters would love it, and it's like a continuation of my love story which everyone loves um and then it ended up you know going and the label start pushing it on the radio and stuff but that's not my my lead single but i am very happy wale added his touch to it because he I, he brought like something different like the contrast is really good i felt like it was perfect for it you had that song is beautiful it was a great foundation i feel like wale just added like the little cherry on top to yeah, it. yeah 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 he, he did that but um, I have a, a single coming out very soon called Pack Light. Pack Light, okay. Yeah. I feel like it's like the Medicine 2.0. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So is that who is that inspired by? If I can ask. Honestly, I just had to come. I had to use my imagination. <laughs> okay. Because the, when I was recording Pack Light, I had just I think a couple days before I had recorded uh, Butterflies Part Two. Okay. So I was like in this like love thing. I had to make myself angry for no reason and just like make this song for all the girls that wanted to be mad <laughs> at their man. So, um, yeah, really my imagination. So do you feel like um, heartbreak songs are your thing or do you ever want to break out and make like a mm, mm, twerk, twerk? Or yeah, I mean, the twerking ain't really my forte, but I do feel like... Um, I need one of those. <laughs> I need one of those because I, I have a lot of fans that like to turn up too, you know, although I can't dance, but I feel like um, I can't either. I got, I, think, I feel like I got a, I got a couple of them. Okay. Yeah, um, what did you ask me before, before I just forgot? I, I was asking you, do you feel like they push you in the lane to make You ever seen where like somebody fell in love and people was like, oh no, she need to get her heart broken again because we want these, like, yeah. I, I've seen a lot of them comments like, nah, sis need to get her heart broken. But what they don't understand is I don't have to have my heart broken to remember a place that I was once before. And I can still write from that perspective. Even if I'm not feeling that way, like I can write from that perspective because I've been there before. So it's like, it's easy. I don't have to have my heart broken. You're in a good place yeah. now. I want to go back to that. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, but don't get me wrong. I can make those songs. Yeah. Like, I still can. And you're going to see. Okay. So Wale was one of the features. Um, I know that that's not, I, I guess you said an official song that's on yeah, the, yeah. the spur of the moment type thing. But can you tell me about some other artists that might be on the upcoming album? 
Okay, I got a um few. I could a uh, Russ is on there. Um Jacquees. Okay. Um Lil Dirt. I'll I'll save the rest. Okay. Yeah, I'll save the females for later. Is there a dream artist for you to collab with or are they on this album? Um I feel like it's not locked down yet, so I don't want to speak on it. Okay. But um I would I would like to cook. Truthfully, I would love to collab with Cardi B. But you know, yes. I've always said that. Yeah, I think you guys would make like a good breakup, like revenge type record. Yeah, for the girls, for the yeah. girls. That needs to happen. We'll speak into existence if it hasn't happened already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 try get some tea. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, okay, so I do know. I saw some of your pictures. You were out there protesting. No, that was actually a um. Yeah, that was on Juneteenth, and that was actually like I had to do a little performance okay. um, out there, and it was like a, it was just for the culture. It wasn't like I was getting paid for it or anything. We just went out there to perform um, More Love, me and my bro, Pat. I'm sorry, my to God. <laughs> I call him that. That's my bro. So um, we went out there to perform um, More Love, which is like a song that we made before all of this happened, but it was perfect for the situation that's going on now and um, which has always been going on. So mm -hmm. um, I was out there and then I think I got a chance to talk to uh, someone that, I don't know, who was it? Was it? You know, I'm still trying to educate myself on everything, you know, like I'm not like fully educated on it because I don't like to speak on it unless I know. But um, there's someone that I've met out there that can guide me through everything that goes on, like getting bills passed and all that stuff. So you want to take that lane and be more in like the I do. I would like to be more into it, but I would like to just know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do something that I don't have knowledge of. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a, it was a good little event that happened. I got something out of it. That so happen. will you be voting this year? Is yes, I will. I, I already um, voted, actually, but I'll be voting again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling people you have to get out there and vote. For me, I'm afraid of the corona, so I haven't been out there protesting, but since mm -hmm. I have my platform that I have on the radio, I'm really, really urging people, we need to get that, get out there yeah. and vote. Don't I feel see? like, I feel like we should, I feel like everyone should vote, because they don't expect us to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they expect us to protest and do all this stuff that maybe like show that we're angry but they don't expect us to actually go the extra mile and vote for our mayors and our state the people that pass the laws and all that stuff they don't expect expect us to do it so i feel like you know we gotta we gotta do it we gotta go further and especially people who have had past felonies um they don't know that they can vote and so that's like something that i really want people to know that mm -hmm. don't let them program you into thinking that you can't do it you can do it for sure so gotta get out there and rock that vote yeah make sure y'all vote yes vote 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 okay so they're wrapping me up um anything else that you want to talk um tell us about your album is it going to be a summer album will we get it this summer or is it the fall like i'm going to say the fall y'all going to get it Okay. But don't worry, the fall is coming so soon. This year has been going by so fast that like it's halfway it's, done. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Fall early fall. Early fall. We got something to look forward to. Miss Queen Naja bringing all the it's well, I guess songs about heartbreak, just about Honestly, I, I think I've opened up more on this album where you guys will definitely be able to tell more about me. I'm not just a girl who had a heartbreak and, and has been cheated on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I got here because of that, but I have much more layers to me. It's, I've been through stuff way deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Um, that a lot of other girls probably have also been through and that's what I am showcasing in this album as well. So um, I hope that y'all can listen and really be inspired, you know. Don't be afraid. I have one more question for you. So social media was how we were all introduced to you and introduced um, to you. Mm -hmm. And so I want to know with now you being a celebrity, do you like social media or do you wish it could just go away? Um, social media sometimes is the devil, <laughs> but um, I mean, it's a love hate thing because truthfully, if I put myself out there, it's what I asked for, but it sucks. 
because it's like you see so many uh, different people's opinions and we shouldn't see what I don't think it's normal to see what everyone in the world thinks about us True. and I see that and sometimes like people just be doing the most but I mean you got to sacrifice something like if I was if I was just you know not in the social media world and had a regular life I would still be sacrificing something so there's a problem for everything. And like, I feel like social media could somebody, sometimes be a problem, but I mean, it's helped me get tough skin too. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. You have but I mean, I'll be fine, I, I bounce back. You got a love-hate relationship with it. Yeah. You, know how to, you just know how to use it. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning <laughs> still. Well, I appreciate your time. I know you got to move on. You got back-to-back -back interviews. I'm going to pray yeah. for you. Girl. That's a long day, 12 interviews. Yeah. But you got this. You got this. I'm looking forward to this fall, your brand new album. What's the name of the album? Oh, it doesn't have a name? No, it has a name. I'm just not going to reveal it right now. Okay. Well, we got that to look forward to, too. All right. Look forward to my album. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, your time. You, too. Thank you.